from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. Large cities with traffic congestion, such as Los Angeles, Dallas-Fort Worth, and Dubai, have stepped forward and offered their cooperation to drone aviation innovators. They want to be the first to welcome and make passenger drone taxis a reality in their cities. Various companies are working towards viable passenger drones by addressing the mechanical, engineering, safety, and regulatory challenges. Intel, working with the German company Daimler, has created a two-seat taxi drone that can be operated without a pilot. It runs on electricity and can fly for about 30 minutes. It is called the Volocopter. It already has a permit to fly in Germany and hopes to be in Dubai shortly. Uber, in partnership with NASA, is developing vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. They plan to be operational in 2021 and are currently working with city officials and real estate firms in Los Angeles and Dallas to find possible takeoff and landing locations. Airbus has plans to unveil a four-passenger model by the year 2023. Their version would be operated by a pilot to start and then later phased out once the idea of a taxi drone catches on. These commuter passenger drones will come with lots of commuter comforts, such as video calling, Wi-Fi, artificial intelligence, and wireless charging stations. Once these innovative companies solve all the technical challenges presented by autonomous passenger drones, there are still hurdles to overcome when it comes to air traffic control, regulators, and legislation before we will witness a surge of them taking flight. Uber is already trying to tackle some of these issues. As part of its partnership with NASA, it is working to develop a dedicated air traffic management system. Metropolitan districts need to work through licensing, zoning, and noise pollution concerns, and other industries such as insurance will need to determine how they will incorporate passenger drones into their business. As someone who lives in the Los Angeles area, I can tell you firsthand that I will readily welcome autonomous taxi drones as a viable transportation option. I am Gary Vernier, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.